So there is this free and open source app for Windows called Silen UI. Using this, you can completely change the look of Windows. It can completely replace the Windows taskbar with its own dock. Yes, you also get the animations and also you get the top bar just like in macOS or Linux. So this is the fully customizable desktop environment for Windows 10 and 11. Rest in peace, Windows 10. <laughs> now, I have actually tried this software before. Uh, the first time I tried when it was in beta and second time when it became stable and also introduced plugins. Now it's the 2026. Uh, there is not a, a 2026 update yet, but still I'm going to try this out. And it has become really popular actually for a Windows customizer getting 15k stars is actually pretty good. I think we can also get it from the Microsoft Store. So let's actually download it from the Microsoft Store. But if you want to, you can go to the official GitHub page. And from here, you can go to releases and then get the installer or uh, simply just get it from the Microsoft Store. Now, there are a couple of important things that I want to mention here. They also mention it on their GitHub page. Silen UI requires a web view runtime to be installed on Windows 11. It comes pre-installed with the system, but if you're on Windows 10, you'll have to get the uh, EXE or it will come with the web view setup EXE installer. And uh, you also need a edge installed on your system. If you don't have the edge, it will not work. Okay. <laughs> so if you're one of those people who don't use edge and have uninstalled it, yeah, it's time to reinstall it if you want to test this. Okay, so it looks like this is installed and I'm thinking since it's using web view to show some of the elements on screen, it will consume more resources. That's just my thoughts. So let's find out. So let's run the ceiling UI and watch what happens here. I'm not going to skip this part. Okay, it's going to take some time to load up. And yes, I'm using it on my actual PC. <laughs> okay, there is the new wallpaper. Oh, it also picks up my name here and also the profile picture, but it doesn't show my email address. That's good. Since I make videos, you know, I don't want to show my email address, even though it's publicly available if you try hard enough. Okay, <laughs> if you want to, uh, you know, email me or something, there is the notification panel. Oh, there is a new update. You know what? Wow, it has improved a lot since the last time I checked it. Uh, the animations are smooth. Everything that I'm clicking is very smooth. Okay, notifications also appear on its separate place. You know, it has also replaced the notification panel. Wow, okay. Now, by default on the dock, there is no animation and you can see the default Windows taskbar is gone, completely gone. But if you want to, you can get it back. It's not auto hidden, it's actually completely hidden. You know, by default, you can only make Windows taskbar auto hide. So when you hover your mouse to the edge, it will appear. So now this thing has taken over the Windows taskbar. And that's actually really good if you want to replace the Windows taskbar with the dock. Okay, so now this is the default look. Okay, we have a top bar at the top. Okay, <laughs> and we have time and date in the middle and to the right side we have system tray and the other system icons and we also have the volume control what happens if i click on settings oh it opens the ceiling ui settings or you can actually click on the top bar and then here you can click on settings and it will open the ceiling ui setting and from here we can customize this thing even further like add animations change the look of the top bar and all that Okay, now first of all, let's actually check out the task manager. Okay, and check out the system resource usage on default Cilin UI settings. Okay, we haven't done much here. So it looks like it uses quite a lot of RAM actually, almost half gigabytes of RAM. And you can see there are many processes running in the background and it's using the web view. If you go and look up on the internet, 
you know, the many components of Windows 11 that uses web view actually use more system resources. So Microsoft needs to fix their web view thingy. <laughs> okay, so it's using that. So because of that, it's using more system resources. But I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. I think my system can afford to run this. But if you have like four gigabytes of RAM, yeah, it's like it's not good because <laughs> it's gonna use one fourth of your RAM. Okay, so now let's customize it. Am I scaring you guys already? It sounds like I'm not trying to recommend you guys this software, but that's not the case. Now let's go through the Selenium UI settings and change some settings. Okay, in general, we have run on startup, so it will automatically start up when you turn on your computer. Resources. We have theme, icon packs, widgets, plugins, wallpapers, sound pack. So we can get all these from here. Okay, we'll talk about that later. Now let's go to fancy toolbar. Fancy toolbar is the top bar. We, we can disable it if you don't need it. Okay, let's just say you only need the dock. Yeah, we can disable that. Now it should use less system resources. Not that much, but yeah, it's using less system resources, around 400 megabytes by turning off the top bar. And we can also change the position of the top bar, okay? It's at the top, but we can also set it to bottom. Application launcher, uh, it's off by default, but if you want to use it, you can use it. Uh, but I use something called command palette from power toys from microsoft okay so yeah i'm just gonna keep it off wallpaper manager let's disable it i want to use my default wallpaper yeah this one is much better yeah dock and taskbar here we can customize the dock so we can enable it disable it if we disable it we have our taskbar back okay the windows taskbar and yeah that's it let's enable the dock so basically, if you want to, you can combine the Windows components and the Cylon UI components together. Okay, let's say you want the Windows taskbar, but also want the top bar. Yeah, you can disable the dock of Cylon UI and use the Windows taskbar with top bar if you prefer that. We can make it full screen. Okay, just like a taskbar. All right. And uh, we can also change the position of this thing to the left, right, bottom, wherever you want, or top. You know, now in Windows 11, you can't move the Windows taskbar to top, left, or right, okay? It stays at the bottom. So if you're looking for a extra dock or taskbar that you want to position at like left, right, or top, yeah, you can have this actually. This is actually pretty good looking dock by default, and you can make it even better by adding the animations and all that. Okay, we'll talk about that as we go through this video. Uh, you know, it's under the resources, so you can add uh, plugins to it and make things look even better and all that. Okay, right now I'm just talking about the default things. Okay, let's actually set it to bottom for now and let's leave it to full screen. That actually looks like the actual Windows taskbar. And you can also make it auto hide. Okay, let's say you want to set it to the left or right okay let's let's do that actually let's set it to left now you can make it auto hide okay always just like that now if you want to access it you can go there and access it and it will auto appear when you hover your mouse to that place okay that's really cool actually <laughs> okay so for now let's uh, set it to default Okay, and there are some other things that you can change, like the icon size and all that. Window manager. Yeah, it also has the tiling window manager. Uh, to be honest, I just prefer the floating window manager. Okay, but if you're a fan of tiling window manager and you love the keyboard shortcuts to launch different things and manage the windows, good for you. Okay, it has the built-in uh, tiling window manager and uh, you can set up the keyboard shortcuts and all that. Okay. And it also supports multi monitors. Okay, now let's go to the resources. Here we can customize this thing and make it look even better. Okay, let's go to the themes and let's see what we have here. Start icon animation. There are a couple of you know plugins and themes pre installed. So we can enable it. Let's say what happens to the start icon. 
you can see at the bottom there is a animation going on in the start icon and there is the bubble effect let's save it and what happens oh it's for the top bar now you can see the top bar is cleaner basically everything is now separated okay i don't know if you can see it or not i have dark wallpaper there but let's disable it and you can see now there is a straight you know black bar going on but we can enable the bubble effect here and now it looks cleaner yeah that's actually good okay that's the theme let's go to icon pack um there are no other icon packs pre-installed but we can get the icon pack and use them okay and uh, we have widgets most of these widgets are all the things that you're seeing here already okay that's what the widgets are but you can get more so let's actually go to plugins and here we can go to discover more resources there is a website we can click on it and it will open the default web browser and from here we can get the widgets so we have a couple of plugins here toolbar media player it will have the media player at the top if we get it let's see the other things let's you know uh, check out everything here okay we have web animation okay so if you want to add the animation to the dock you can get this plugin okay so let's download this now let's enable the web animation okay now you can see animations uh, on our taskbar or dock whatever you want to call it okay that's good now let's check out the other things what is this senti alt <laughs> what is this for modern dog that is perfect for dark themed desktop so there are other types of themes available for uh the dog okay let's check this one out actually open ceiling ui let's enable that one oh it has that glassy look <laughs> i don't think we should be adding a lot of things uh to the ceiling ui on default, it doesn't use that much system resources. On the RAM side, it's still okay. But on the CPU side, yeah, it's using a lot of CPU and also using GPU process. Okay, the web view apps on Windows is just terrible. It's like I'm running a game now. Before this, it was like running a web browser. Okay, but now we are basically running a game. It's using CPU a lot, almost more than half there are many other themes that you can download the only thing i'm worried about here is the system resource usage i think it's just too much on the memory side yeah if you have a decent memory like eight gigabyte or more it's good but if you have less no it's no good but on the cpu side it's like running a game on some themes okay this is actually a really cool app not gonna lie if you want to customize the windows but I feel like it uses a lot of system resources if you want to heavily customize it, like want to enable the animations and all that. So it has pretty cool uh, dock. Okay, I'm not going to lie. It's actually really cool. Even with the animation, it's decent. Okay, it will only use more CPU when you have the mouse going on the dock. Okay, when you don't touch it, it sits silently. I'm just going to disable it. I can get my dock taskbar at the bottom. Actually, my Windows taskbar also has the animation and it doesn't use more system resources. If you're looking for a replacement for Windows taskbar or you're looking for a top bar, you just want to make it look like the Linux or Mac. Yeah, it's pretty good. Just don't go too much on the customization. Like don't add all the plugins, animations and everything. You'll be good actually okay if you have a decent ram like more than eight gigabytes of ram because it will definitely use around 500 megabytes of ram by default you can't do anything about it and on top of that if you add more animations or plugins it will use more cpu okay it can actually use around 50 to 80 percent of cpu if you enable all the customization so if you are planning to use this app just go slow with the customization okay don't add everything and you'll be actually pretty good this is actually a pretty good app 
okay to customize windows and it makes your windows look unique again the web view thingy on windows 11 is pretty bad it uses a lot of system resources that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.